What's going on guys, it's your boy Turbite Reacts here and we are back with another episode of Peaky Blinders. Season 3 episode 2 is here today and we are going to jump right into it, man. Episode 1 was very good, loved the pacing of it and everything. Um, lots of new stuff thrown at us after the 2 year skip. Um, you know, we got Tommy... Tommy and Grace getting married, um, some concerns over um, the jobs that he had, that he now has to be doing. Seems like he's in more danger than ever. Um, we got Arthur kind of still going off. I don't know what's going on with him. I honestly don't know what it, his problem is just Tommy's trying to rein him in, but he's just keeps doing stupid things, man. And he's like the worst of all the Shelby's in my opinion um so it's like it looks like he kicked the coke habit but then in it but then he's you know they're trying to get him to stop drinking but he drinks to remind himself to not drink it's such a stupid concept but hey here we are but we have so many things that's going on right now which is like um grace trying to figure out what's going on with the family she wants to know because now she's married into the family she wants tommy to tell her everything you know um you know aunt polly's still not trusting her um i don't know what that's all what that's about um we got this new guy that, that you now the russians are involved because of the situation that's going on the new deal that tommy has with um with winston churchill saving him um, the, so it's like the crown and the, the secret service, or if you want to call them the, 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 the MI6 of back in the day, like, you know what I'm saying? Them trying to wage a war against the IRA. Um, so it's just kind of weird. We didn't see Solomon's at all in that first episode. No, he's not dead, you know, but, uh, um, you know, we still need to see our boy Tom Hardy do his thing because he's one, he was one of the best things about season two so we're gonna jump into this man see what happens if you want to see the full review of what i really thought you can check out the last episode's review um and then go ahead and watch they already know full reaction link is down in the description also um if you want to to know when these episodes drop join the discord channel join the discord server i usually post them or my moderator does post them over there to um to let you guys know that links are out. just in case youtube does not notify you discord channel is one of those ways where you can get notified really easily just sends message to your phone you know exactly when the episodes drop so you can drop what you're doing and go watch the episode or you know it's out okay so if you don't know it's out and youtube doesn't tell you sometimes it doesn't show up in the timeline it is what it is thank you guys for watching as always i will see you guys for the review. <sighs> All right, so let's talk about it, man. That episode ended. <sighs> what what is going on? What what is going on, man? Really, what is going on in this series right now? That episode, as as let's talk about the the technicalities first. The the, the pacing was great, right? And as always, great acting. Um, the thing about this this episode, the way how it was structured, it was structured to to also mis mislead us as the audience, as you know what I'm saying, as to to mislead us to thinking something that it, it, it was structured great let's just say that um so let's talk about the details man the details of this episode you know john getting him getting the whole peaky blinders in, in in war in a war that's not needed right now you know what i'm saying like they don't need and i disagree with what tommy was saying to him after he found when he came back I disagree with it completely with what he was saying because if you're on top and nobody is bothering you, there is no need to go bothering people. 
You get what I'm saying? It's like it's greed. It's just like, you know, out in the past I gave you guys, uh, maybe not on this video or these particular re reaction, but I talk about it all the time, the situation with, with Pablo Escobar. If you guys don't know who Pablo Escobar is, one of the biggest drug kingpin that ever lived, okay? At one point, he was making $60 million a day in drug money, selling cocaine all over the world, right? If you don't know about Pablo Escobar, you're probably living under a rock somewhere because everybody's supposed to know about that guy because he's like he's like cocaine lore <laughs> you know what i'm saying like if you know about cocaine you know about pablo escobar it's like two are interconnected together but the situation with pablo where i always said that he could have lived a very long life why he got greedy and that's what killed him and 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 that's the situation here again where we're seeing you're on top you're on top of the world if you're making 60 million dollars a day why do you also need to be a politician i have no idea and when i say that people is like oh we needed more power he didn't really have real power and i'm like bitch i don't need real power if i'm making 60 million dollars a day if that's what real power is if i need to control ambition sometimes can be can get so to the point where you don't understand where you are and understand the situation that you're in. If you're talking about legitimacy as a kingpin, that's who Pablo Escobar is. Legitimacy. Like nobody was touching him. The government didn't want to touch him because guess what? He was doing what the government wanted him to do. He had a deal and he was doing what he was supposed to do until he decided he wanted to become a freaking politician. And they... Apparently, they were oblivious to the fact that he was a freaking drug kimping. He was exposed, and now you're left with the backlash of it. So now, guess what? The politicians can't support you, and the people are losing faith in you that had faith in you. They start losing faith in you because um, even though he used to give back so much, you know what I'm saying? Even though he used to give back so much, now it's exposed that you're a drug dealer, now nobody wants to deal with you. So now you're under the fire. Now they're going to send people to capture you because the people demands it. All of this other stuff, right? So, and that's what I'm saying. Greed, or in, in Escobar's case, the greed for power. Because he had the power. He had the power. He was okay. I mean, they literally let this guy build his own freaking prison. His own prison, when they when when they decided that they're going to arrest him and put him in jail, he made a deal with the government for him to build his own prison, bro, and run his empire from his own freaking prison. You get what I'm trying to say? Like, he had it, man. He had it. Even though that was after the fact that I'm talking about, but those are things where I'm talking about, like, he had the power, but he just had to have more. You know what I'm saying? Greed will kill you, man. Greed will kill you. Um, and that's the situation here where I'm saying he, that why I disagree with his stance, why giving John the keys, you know what I'm saying, and be like, okay, he did the right thing. No, I can, I can never say John did the right thing because he started an unnecessary war, right? And then you have Arthur with his having his come to Jesus moment, you know, which is so weird. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because of his, I don't know if they're married or just just his girl, um, which is it's good for him because it, you know, it caused him to stop. He's not a he's not an addict anymore. He's not a crack addict anymore. He's not a um, I mean, he's not a cocaine addict anymore. Um, So it's 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 absolutely different. You know what I'm saying? He's a different person, and you can see that he's a different person as they're trying to portray him this this season. But my issue, my issue with this whole situation that's going on right now, how to, with with the guy and Tommy's such a G man, and that's that's the thing about him. Um, he redeemed himself during the episode. Um, you know, the, the, them bringing down Scott and Yah because he went to see Ada, and I'm like. But he didn't talk about anything with Ada. You get what I'm saying? Them them threatening his son. Like, I think they're going a bit too far to show him their reach. Like, they don't know who Tommy is. We know, we know who Tommy is. Like, the dude is smart. 
You get what I'm saying? That's why that's why he's the leader and not Arthur. It's because he's the smartest out of all the brothers. See, John do dumb shit. Arthur does dumb shit. Tommy occasionally does dumb things, but it always works out in the end for him because he's, he thinks 10, 20 steps ahead of everybody. Like, they didn't see this. Remember back in back in the first season, they didn't see any of this coming. When Tommy saw all of the riches that they could do and all taking over the, 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 the gambling, the horse racing, all of this other stuff, they didn't see any of it. They, they wanted to stay in the same place. And Tommy was like, I see this future and he has made the future happen. So here we are in season three. They pretty much control Birmingham. And that's what I'm saying. They started an unnecessary war. And I disagree with, with most of the stuff he said to John. I disagree with. So now you have an unnecessary war. And plus you have this these other people that you have to be dealing with. So you do not need this war. You don't need to be fighting against the Italians right now. So Scotland Yard came down on him, threatened his son, and then at this this dinner thing that they're having, um, I don't even want to think of the fact that Grace got killed just now because I don't think she's dead. I'm going to hold on to that hope until I watch the next episode, but I don't think Grace is dead. I don't think she's dead. There's no way. I don't. I'm not going to believe it. I'm not going to believe it because it looks like she got shot up here. It looked like she got shot in her shoulder. It doesn't look like she got shot. It, it seemed very close to her heart, but it looked like she got, I'm going to keep hope because I do not want Grace to die. But I think it's because if Grace dies, Tommy's going to go off the rails. He is going to go off the rails. Bodies are going to start dropping. I'm telling y'all. Okay, so thank you guys for watching, man. This episode was really dope. 10 out of 10 for me, definitely setting up for the next episode. Um, so it's definitely great. So so far this season, two episodes in, it's shaping up to be a good, se a, a, a good season. So thank you guys for watching as always, man. Make sure you hit that like button. Let me know what you think in the comment section. You guys are not commenting on the Peaky Blinders episodes. It's like, I think I put out the last one. The last episode came out on Wednesday, and you guys did not leave any comments or anything like that on that video. I think that I think that I think that video still has zero comments. Yeah, we have likes, but no comments. So if you guys are watching the videos and you're not enjoying them, let me know because I can always enjoy this series by myself. I keep telling you guys this. I don't have to upload these videos. I can enjoy these series by myself, but I choose to upload them because you guys want to enjoy the show with me which is fine just fine i'm enjoying it so i'm going to upload it right but i need you guys interaction so i can feel like i i love the feeling of watching shows with somebody else and stuff like that but most of this stuff my girl she's not into them she's not into this stuff i could try to introduce this stuff to her but she's not really into um watching shows like this um, she's not boring for, you know, for any reason, does that the stuff that she watches, like she's Latino. So she's into the telenovela stuff and <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like soap operas and stuff like that's what she loves. So, and I don't into that stuff. So that's not our similarities. That's not what brought us together or anything. It's just that she doesn't watch the same things that I do, but, um, in, in 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 any case it's just like i want to do this because i because i love doing it right i love putting up these videos and and i just want you guys to interact with the videos as much as possible so that other people can come and enjoy the series just like you are enjoying it watching it it's good you're watching the series and i like that but i also want you guys to support the videos by liking it and also by leaving a comment Okay, so I want discussion because I mean, come on, are you guys just waiting on these specific episodes? That's fine too, I guess. Um, but thank you guys for watching as always. It's your boy Terabyte Reacts. Remember, you are Terror Squad. I am Terabyte Reacts, and I will see you guys for the next one. Peace.